I think it probably made people greedy. Um, there's no doubt about the fact that a lot of positive things came out of it. You know, you see beautiful buildings, you see, you find yourself living in a city that's very pleasant. Um, you know, you don't see people suffering from poverty, um, or you do perhaps, but, but a lot less. Um, but you know, now that the bubble has burst and the economy has collapsed, I do think it's a real blessing in disguise. I don't think there's any doubt about that. So much of, you know, I mean, the great music even in recent times um, has not come from wealthy, spoiled children that eat too much, that are given too much, that take stuff for granted. It did come from hard times and it did come from a certain level of poverty. Um, so I think it's a blessing in disguise, but I gotta say, having said that, I did enjoy the good times. Yeah, you notice a big difference now. A lot of restaurants closing, a lot of shops closing. Um, you know, people are maybe a little bit panicked. Um, the media, I think, in Ireland hammered uh, consumer confidence, and I think that played a very big part in the bubble bursting, it coming down so fast. I think that could have been avoided. I think people are now starting to get a little bit bored with the recession and talk of the recession. Um, so I think that's a good thing. But, but yeah, you notice, you notice uh, differences. We've kind of stopped celebrating. Um, but we were over celebrating, so you know, now it's evening out a little bit. I don't think that's a bad thing.